Hey, what's up everybody? Average Sniper here. We've got a pretty big update for matchmaking today. Thank you to Helion Prime for sending me this update early in the morning. And uh, let's get started. Sit back, relax, smack that like button. Let's take a look at what the developers are uh, saying this uh, new update is about. I have a feeling it has to do with uh, the skill-based matchmaking that we talked about a few updates ago, or at least when they released their roadmap and said this is one of the things they'll be working on. So let's take a look, see what it's all about. As always, there will be a link to this article in the video description if you prefer to read it yourself. If you prefer to have me read it to you and comment on it, you're in the right place. Let's go. Hello players! Last month we outlined in our 2024 roadmap that we are committed to enhancing the matchmaking experience for a healthier gaming environment and promised further details on our plans. Today we're excited to share insights into our upcoming matchmaking process. This dev letter marks the beginning of an ongoing conversation as we work with our players to create the optimal matchmaking experience. We'll discuss the matchmaking system for the normal match mode, so let's delve into its intricacies, improvements underway, and our future roadmap for matchmaking. Matchmaking, okay, for normal matchmaking, let's see, matchmaking for normal match works by intimately, does it say intimately? by intimately connecting the following elements. Okay. Normal matchmaking by platform, map service, party type and perspective, skill, ping, time to match, and player count. I'm not saying if they say it currently works like that or that's what they're trying to do. So here's what all of those mean. For platform, it says PUBG's matchmaking considers the unique context and attributes of various platforms on PC and console. To ensure smooth matchmaking, we support cross-platform play between Steam and Epic Game Store on PC and between Xbox and PlayStation on console. Nothing new there. Uh, player count. With matches accommodating up to 100 players, the player count is a crucial factor. We ensure that an adequate number of players are secured and linked in every match. So far, this is a big duh. Of course, this is how matchmaking works. Console plays with console, PC plays with PC, and there should be 100 players per match. We all know this. All right, time to match. This refers to the duration between clicking the play button and entering a match. Maximizing player recruitment for each match might result in a waiting period, and we strive to establish optimal wait times to avoid excessive delays. Under certain circumstances, such as during off-peak hours, bots may substitute players if insufficient players are available. So I complain about this one all the time, about how long it takes to matchmake, and... Um, Sometimes it takes up to three minutes to find the lobby and then another three minutes for the lobby to start. So we're talking like a max wait time of six minutes sometimes to find a game, which is pretty crazy. I think a lot of people will switch to another game if they had to wait six minutes in between matches all the time. And it's not always like that, but it depends on the game mode you play and it depends on what time you play. My suggestion for that was to merge the uh, North American and European lobbies so that there would be more players um, you you might get a higher ping on some matches, and then other matches you would be just fine. But the matchmaking time would be almost immediate during on-peak hours. All right, ping. Ping indicates the delay between the server and the client, a critical aspect of ensuring a seamless gaming experience. When experiencing low network speed, players will encounter obstacles that diminish the enjoyment of the game, such as difficulty in looting or shooting accurately. To mitigate the impact of network latency on gameplay, we organize our servers by region. That's what I was just talking about. Uh, so that's why you can't just pick the region you want to play in anymore, because if somebody from Australia wants to play with somebody in Indiana, their ping is going to be like a thousand and it's not going to be a good experience. That's what causes desync. But if you play with another region that's not too far away from you, it's not going to be that noticeable. But if you're a technical person like me and you notice all the little details, you will notice, like it said right in that paragraph, that looting and shooting are a little bit different. So it, it is an adjustment period to play with higher ping. But this is they don't want people to play with higher ping. They want everybody to be matched you know, equally uh, by ping. At least one of the factors is ping. So that's good. 
Uh, map service. With the addition of Rondo last December, we now have 10 maps available. Providing all maps at once could diminish the matchmaking experience for players. Hence, we've implemented a custom map rotation system for each region. We know that. Party type and perspective. PUBG provides various party types and perspectives, including solo, duo, squad, TPP, and FPP. The available party types and perspectives may vary by region, and the matchmaking system is structured to optimize the matchmaking pool according to player choice. Skill. The matchmaking process takes into account a player's skill level and is designed to match them with others of similar skill levels. A player's skill level is determined by various factors such as match kills, placements, and other criteria. It is also categorized by an internal system value known as matchmaking rating MMR. So that's the skill-based matchmaking we talked about. Whether you're for it or against it doesn't really matter um, because I'm pretty sure if there's enough players that it will be implemented. I personally don't like it because I think it doesn't, it does two things. It keeps new players with only new players and they never have a chance to get better at the game. Um, and the experienced players get paired up more with cheaters that have higher stats and other players. So it's less of a good time and less of a diverse experience if you're always playing against people that play the exact same way you do. Where's the fun in that? The first step for matchmaking in 2024. So here we go with the roadmap. Revamping the MMR system for normal match. With up to 100 players per match, ensuring an adequate pool of players for matchmaking is paramount. Previously, our focus was primarily on securing enough players. While skill-based matchmaking proved effective with sufficient players, Having fewer players led to increased difficulty for newcomers or less experienced players. Observing these outcomes, we acknowledge the need to prioritize skill-based matchmaking alongside player recruitment. In 2023, we initiated improvements to address matchmaking disparities for inexperienced players and players whose MMR was set higher than their skill level under certain conditions. After diligent monitoring, we observed notable improvements in the target segments with players in these categories consistently returning to the game. Building upon this experience, we've opted to overhaul the MMR system System in normal match, building on the steps we've taken to ensure that more players experience matchmaking that matches their skill level. Refining the matchmaking system. Currently, we're focused on enhancing skill-based matchmaking rather than solely increasing the number of players per match. We've revamped the skill-based matchmaking system to improve the gaming experience for a broader range of players. While overhauling the MMR system, we've carefully considered various factors to better segment player groups based on their experiences in normal match. Our efforts aim to preserve the essence of the normal match experience, particularly for seasoned players. Additionally, we continuously monitor the network latency in each region, assess matchmaking duration, and analyze metrics like the distribution of matches based on skill levels. Drawing insights from this data and player feedback, we are continuously refining the matchmaking system. By enhancing skill-based matchmaking, we aim to cultivate a positive gaming experience for all players and ensure fair competition among players of similar skill levels. These represent just a fraction of the changes we're implementing, and we remain committed to ongoing monitoring and necessary improvements as we progress. So that is exactly what we just talked about, the skill-based matchmaking. Um, I don't think... I think for most players, it's not good. I think the only players that like skill-based matchmaking are players that can't seem, um, that don't have enough time, you know, to get better at the game, and, uh, you know, they want to have a good time. It's totally understandable. But for most players that, you know, have gotten better at the game, it's going to match us more with cheaters and people that aren't playing right, because it will see that, oh, your stats are good, we're going to match you with better players, and that's a higher chance of running into cheaters. So... I do think they're trying to do the right thing here, but I think for most people that are experienced in this game, uh, will probably agree that skill-based matchmaking usually leads to negative negative experiences unless it's your very first time uh, playing the game. All right, so enhancing the matchmaking environment. We've enhanced our matchmaking structure to better accommodate new and inexperienced players. That's fine. Let's see what they have to say. Thanks to your support, we celebrated our seventh anniversary last month. We've diligently endeavored to align with your interests and expectations, striving to introduce fresh experiences for existing players while enticing new players to join our community. However, over time, the gap between new and seasoned players has widened, presenting challenges and helping new players improve their skills and have fun at the same time. Based on diverse data and player feedback, we've refined our categorization and structure to ensure that new and inexperienced players are paired with similar skill level 
mobile counterparts. We hope this will facilitate a smoother transition for new players into the PUBG environment, fostering positive encounters with comparably skilled players as they progress and refine their skills. Same thing we just talked about, exact same thing. Improving the pre-made team MMR algorithm weighted average algorithm. We've improved the existing matchmaking structure for pre-made teams transitioning from the maximum MMR within the team formula to the weighted average algorithm. Background. Over the years, our team has continuously refined the MMR system and made several attempts to improve the formula that generates MMRs for pre-made teams. While the introduction of the average MMR formula initially showed promise, it became apparent that skill disparities among players were progressively widening, resulting in imbalanced matchmaking. With update 20.2 in 2022, we introduced the maximum MMR formula for pre-made teams. While this adjustment mitigated some issues, it increased the difficulty for less skilled players who teamed up with friends or acquaintances. New pre-made team MMR formula weighted average algorithm. To address these concerns, we are scrapping the formula that matches pre-made teams based on maximum MMR. Instead, we're implementing the weighted average algorithm, which weighs the MMR of each teammate. This new algorithm is designed to ensure that when players of similar skill levels team up, their collective MMR is averaged. However, if a team includes a player with a notably higher skill level, the team's overall MMR will be above the average. Additionally, the higher player's skill level, the more their MMR will be weighted in determining the team's overall MMR. So that's just for squads. It's basically saying that it's going to take the average of the team's skill level and try and match it with other teams that average the same skill. Kind of a duh. <laughs> if they're doing skill-based matchmaking, I mean, that sounds like how they should do it. I mean, imagine if you are an experienced player and you're playing with three friends that have never played the game before and it just takes your skill and matches you with people that have been playing the game for years. Your three friends are not going to have a good time. This is the one part of skill-based matchmaking that I agree with and that it helps new players, but it should be a time-based thing. Like after you've played the game for a certain number of hours, it should take that away and put you into a diverse environment of players with all different skill levels. All right. So in conclusion of the dev letter, it says, we discussed establishing a framework for skill-based matchmaking for normal match. I like how they call it skill-based matchmaking. They keep using MMR, but skill-based matchmaking is what most people are going to recognize, the term that most people are going to recognize. Despite... Its invisible nature, matchmaking is a crucial component of PUBG as it encompasses many intertwined elements that significantly impact the game's enjoyment and overall quality. While it may take time to satisfy all players, we remain committed to validating the matchmaking system and transparently sharing any noteworthy progress or insights with you as we proceed. Sometimes our plans resonate positively with the community and yield the intended outcomes within the game. R rarely. They should say, instead of sometimes, they should say rarely. Other times, when our efforts lead to unintended outcomes, your criticism serves as a valuable feedback that prompts us to realign our focus. And by that, they mean the endless comments they get on their Twitter about how people don't like new features. We'll continue to evaluate various data and player feedback alongside drawing from our own gameplay experiences to ensure that matchmaking maintains a healthy balance and appropriately reflects skill levels. We are committed to ensuring that every player eagerly anticipates entering the battlegrounds, and we look forward to sharing further updates on matchmaking in our upcoming dev letter. Thank you, PUBG Battlegrounds team. Okay, so what I took from that is they're doing skill-based matchmaking. It might take longer to find matches. This is going to be a good thing for new players, a bad thing for experienced players, but we'll see how it plays out. Hopefully PUBG doesn't break the game by implementing this. And even though I'm not the biggest supporter of skill-based matchmaking, I don't mind it, especially if it helps bring new players to the game. If I have to play with more players of a higher rank or more cheaters, whatever, I'll probably keep playing the game and I will, I will love to see new players enjoying the game more. However, I do believe that as if you are brand new to the game, you should only be given a handicap, which is what I believe skill-based matchmaking is. It is a handicap. You should only be given that handicap until you are good enough at the game to, complete with, to compete with players that have already been playing the game. Now, of course, there are people that have been playing the game for seven whole years, and if you want protection from those players... I don't think that's very fair. I mean, anytime somebody gets into a new game that's seven years old, you have to know just based on common sense that there's going to be people that are better. And it's not going to take seven years to get as good as them, but you have to realize that occasionally you are going to run into one of those players that has been no-lifing the game 12 hours a day for seven years. I run into them all the time and they destroy me. 
just find a new match and keep having fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Smack the like button if you did. Subscribe for more PUBG updates, content, and live streams. And I'll see you guys on the next video or the next live stream. Thanks for watching. Bye.